Hello, I'm Carol Sheroyan, and I'm going to do a demonstration on making a beautiful seashell ball. These balls sell at high-end shops on Sanibel Island for around $100, but we're going to do it very inexpensively. I've had experience making these. I've made several. I've taught a couple ladies how to make them, and everybody seems to enjoy them. Someone will walk in and say, wow, where did you buy that at? So here we go. The supplies we're going to need are a bowling ball, which normally you can get free at a bowling alley, or somebody relative may have an old bowling ball they don't want. Seashells, I'm a collector, so I have a lot of seashells. But if you're not a collector, you can purchase seashells usually inexpensively at yard sales, garage sales, and online. The next thing we need is we will have to purchase a bucket of thin set mortar. And the reason that I go for the pre-mixed is because you don't have to fool around with water and powder, mixing it and getting it to the right consistency. The thin set mortar in the bucket is the thing to use. We will also need a putty knife. And I like this plastic bendable one because it kind of goes around the bowling ball easy. And then another little trick, I like to set my bowling ball on a bowl because it gives it stability and you can turn it easily. We're going to start out with using some a small amount of a small amount of thin set which we will do in an area, a small area so that we can work with it while it's wet. Okay, now you can see that I've spread a small area. And we're going to take small shells, put them on, they will stick very easily to the mortar. And as we finish a section, we'll move on to another section. When we're about, oh, three quarters, when we're about three quarters finished, I'll just tip this so you can see how much of the section I'm doing. When we're about three quarters finished with Placing the shells, we're going to let it dry overnight. The next day, you can finish up with your thin set and your shells. I prefer when I am finished to spray it with spray lacquer because it brings out the colors in the shells. Another small purchase that you may want to make is a plant stand which you can purchase usually at the dollar store. This is my finished ball. And here is the plant stand. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and will make a seashell ball in the future. Hopefully you'll be creative and you can use other things. I've used the little glass bobbles in some of the seashell balls and you could also do anything you wanted with the with the bowling ball thank you for listening and i hope you enjoyed this demonstration